What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs and a cleanup video. A couple days back I made a video about the homeless population of each state in the United States. The focus of the video was to dispel the myth or belief that only places like New York, Washington, Oregon, and California have homeless residents. They have more than most states, but every state has a homeless population. The comments section and my email were ablaze with people asking why I didn't include the per capita of each state. I probably should have. I just had another thought process going into that video and kind of stuck with it. But this channel isn't just for me. I like making them, but really it's for you guys and whoever happens to wander on here and check out one of my videos. And if that's what you want, I'd be dropping the ball if I didn't do it or at least give it some consideration. Now I say at least give it some consideration because I get plenty of requests to do videos of a racist nature and I'm not going to do them and you'll never see them. And if I didn't say at least consider them, I'd get all kinds of emails asking me to do those videos and if I didn't do them, I'd get even more emails. So that's how we're doing this. The number of homeless people is based on a point in time estimate, one night estimates of sheltered and unsheltered homeless population in the United States. They are carried out nationwide during the last 10 days of January each year. In this case, January 2020. They'll be coming out with 2021 numbers later this year and we'll make another video so we could see the difference. And I think there should be a pretty good difference because it'll be the height of the pandemic versus the pandemic kind of waning hours, I guess you could say. I won't be talking talking much in this video. We sort of went over everything in the last video, so we'll just kind of breeze through it. All right, let's see how many homeless people for every 10,000 residents in each state. Number 51, Mississippi. Now this, the other day I was a little shocked about because they have horrible amounts of poverty in this state, but they don't have that many homeless residents. I think there's two reasons for this. Number one, housing and cost of living are pretty cheap, so not many people are being put on the street because they couldn't afford rent or things like that. That happens a lot with states that have a higher cost of living. And on top of it, Mississippi doesn't have a lot of programs to help the homeless. For every 10,000 residents, 3.7 are homeless in Mississippi. Number 50, Alabama. Everything I just said about the Magnolia State, Mississippi, is the same in Alabama. They don't have a lot of programs, probably a few more than Mississippi has, and it's a little more expensive, so they get more homeless. For every 10,000 residents, Alabama has 6.8 homeless residents. Number 49, Louisiana. Staying in the South, we have Louisiana. Same thing as Alabama and Mississippi. They don't have a lot of programs. I mean, these are three very poor states, and if your state is in bad shape financially, I mean, one of the first things you're gonna cut is programs for the homeless. Again, they have programs, just not nearly as many as a lot of other states do. For every 10,000 residents, Louisiana has 6.8 homeless residents. Number 48, Virginia. Another southern state. Financially, Virginia is doing a lot better than Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana, but they got a little more homeless. Probably attract them because they do have a lot more programs and a better economy. For every 10,000 residents, Virginia has seven homeless residents. Number 47, North Dakota. I've mentioned this before. I actually know a guy that used to be homeless in North Dakota, Fargo, actually. He used to work construction before the collapse around 2008, and he lost everything. Him and his wife ended up sleeping in his truck for months. They both ended up working in fast food, hoping that construction will start picking up again, and then winter hit. And in his words, there has to be something seriously wrong with you to be homeless and stay in North Dakota during the winter. For every 10,000 residents, North Dakota Dakota has 7.1 homeless residents. Number 46, West Virginia. West Virginia isn't doing that bad. With all the problems they've had in the last decade or so, you'd think they'd have a lot more homeless, but they don't. Again, like Mississippi and Alabama and Louisiana, it's extremely cheap, so that probably saves a lot of people from hitting the streets. For every 10,000 residents, West Virginia has 7.5 homeless. Number 45, Arkansas. Arkansas again, total poverty. The state is wrecked in a lot of areas. I've always said that Northwest section is doing great, but the rest of the state is basically, you know, they should fence it off and forget about it. For every 10,000 residents in Arkansas, 7.8 are homeless. Number 44, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's a great state, has a lot of great places to live, and they've got a lot of good programs for the homeless, but I just think, like North Dakota, their cold chases a lot of potential homeless people out of the state. For every 10,000 residents, Wisconsin has 7.8 homeless. Number 43, Connecticut. Connecticut is definitely the worst of all the New England states. If you're from the West Coast and you've never watched my channel before, you probably didn't know that. You just imagine all New England states are great and wonderful. Connecticut has some really run down, horrible places and they've got some homeless. Not a whole bunch, but they have some. Again, I think the cold has something to do with it. For every 10,000 residents, Connecticut has 8.1 homeless. 
Number 42, Illinois. I'm kind of shocked at this one. If you take a look at some of the inner city parts of Chicago and some of the other places in Illinois that are cities, you'd think there'd be more, but no, not that bad. For every 10,000 residents, they only have 8.2 homeless residents. Number 41, South Carolina. Back to the South we go in South Carolina. They're doing better than I thought they would. Other than Charleston, Columbia, Myrtle Beach, and a few other places, South Carolina has a lot of places that are wrecked with poverty. Luckily for them, it's mostly rural places and small towns, and a lot of homeless residents don't hang out in small towns. They move to bigger cities. For every 10,000 residents, South Carolina has 8.3 homeless residents. Number 40, Indiana. The Hoosier State doesn't have a lot of homeless people. I'm a little shocked. I mean, with cities like Gary, Indiana and Toledo here, you'd think they'd have plenty of homeless. And for those of you typing out that comment, I know Toledo's in Ohio. I'm just kidding. But Indiana doesn't have a lot of homeless people. For every 10,000 Hoosiers, you only have 8.4 homeless Hoosiers. Number 39, Iowa. Nobody wants to be in Iowa, much less if you're homeless. They don't have a lot of homeless. For every 10,000 residents, Iowa has 8.4 homeless residents. Number 38, Kansas. Just like Iowa, same thing. It's like two states that are almost exactly the same to most people not from the states. I'm sure if you're from the state, you could find different reasons, but they got all the same stats in all the right places. And homeless, they share the same number. For every 10,000 Kansas residents, they have 8.4 homeless residents. Number 37, Michigan. Again, a Michigan winter is not a thing you want to experience if you're homeless, especially since they started tearing down all the vacant houses around Detroit. There was a time where they'd go there and they'd live through the winter, but no, you can't do that anymore. Most of them are gone. Just tons of vacant lots outside of Detroit. For every 10,000 Michigan residents, 8.6 are homeless. Number 36, North Carolina. North Carolina has been gaining popularity in recent years. A lot of the people moving there are young people that are into music or whatever. They want to, you know, kind of just live there for some reason near Asheville or whatever. One thing leads to another and a lot of them end up on the street. For every 10,000 North Carolina residents or Tar Heels, whichever you want to call them, they have 8.8 .8 homeless residents. Number 35, Kentucky. I've been doing these lists for about five years now, and I can tell you Kentucky is the biggest mover in the suckage list. I mean, they started off, you know, in the 15 to 10 area when I first started. Now they're, depending on the stat, they're just getting worse and worse and worse. And they're usually in the top five now. It's weird. I don't know what they're doing there. But their homeless situation isn't terrible. I mean, they're not even at the halfway point. For every 10,000 Kentucky residents, nine of them are homeless. Number 34, Ohio. Ohio doesn't have a lot of homeless. I mean, this is a state that's actually kind of, I'm starting to see them get a little bit better in a lot of their different stats. So this doesn't shock me that they don't have a terrible amount of homeless residents per capita. No word on how many of them are ex-Cleveland Browns quarterbacks or coaching staff, because that could be a lot if they all were. For every 10,000 Ohio residents, 9.1 are homeless. 33, Texas. Texas breaks all the rules. They got big cities. They're a very popular state, but they don't have a lot of homeless. I've said it many times before, there's a lot of good things going on and Texas is kind of running the state correctly. At least they did in the past and it's paying off now. For every 10,000 Texas residents, 9.4 are homeless. Number 32, Georgia. The Peach State has a lot of the things that would tell you they're going to have a lot of homeless. Decent weather, summers get a little hot and muggy, they got some big cities, and they've got some inflation and housing costs are going up, but they still don't have a terrible amount of homeless. For every 10,000 Georgia residents, 9.6 are homeless. Number 31, Utah. Utah is a lot like Texas in a lot of ways. They've done some good moves, they've done some smart things, and they're not a terrible state. Actually, one of the most desirable states to move to. I'm actually surprised more people don't move to Utah. For every 10,000 residents, 9.8 are homeless. Number 30, Oklahoma. If you poured over all the stats like I do, Oklahoma always pops up along with Kentucky as a state filled with suckage. So I thought they would be higher up on the list, but they're not. For every 10,000 Oklahoma residents, 9.9 .9 are homeless. Number 29, Rhode Island. Probably the easiest state to count the homeless because it's so small. I bet it's more accurate than most. For every 10,000 Rhode Island residents, 10.44 are homeless. 28, Pennsylvania. One of my favorite states, Pennsylvania, isn't doing terrible when it comes to homeless. For every 10,000 residents, they have 10.4 homeless. 
Number 27, Maryland. I mentioned this on the last video with Baltimore there, you'd think they'd be in way worse shape, but they're not doing terrible. I do know they have a lot of programs to help people get back on their feet in Baltimore, and maybe it is paying off. I don't have the numbers on that. But for every 10,000 residents, Maryland only has 10.5 homeless. Number 26, Wyoming. Now this one's, you know, the stats might be a little weird because they have so few people that, I mean, the per capita, it makes sense, but they really don't have a lot of homeless people. For every 10,000 residents, Wyoming has 10.6 homeless residents. Number 25, Tennessee. The volunteer state gets us to the midway point, I guess almost midway point, because we're counting Washington DC on this one, with stats that aren't terrible. For every 10,000 residents, 10.6 are homeless. Number 24, Missouri. The show me state shows you they're just like Wyoming in numbers. For every 10,000 residents, they have 10.6 homeless residents. Number 23, New Jersey. They should have more, but everyone's fleeing the state, so they don't have that many. For every 10,000 New Jersey residents, 10.9 are homeless. Number 22, South Dakota. I've seen some stats about the homeless in South Dakota. A large majority of them are of Native American descent. Now this subject needs a whole video and I'm only spending like 10 seconds on each one, but maybe in the future I will kind of tackle that one. It's pretty sad. For every 10,000 South Dakota residents, 12 are homeless. Number 21, Delaware. Sort of mentioned this in the last video. You'd think that Delaware would be in worse shape because of Wilmington. It's not a big state. Wilmington is their largest, pretty much takes up half the state almost, it seems like. But they don't have a ton of homeless. For every 10,000 Delaware residents, only 12 are homeless. Number 20, New Hampshire. This one kind of shocks me. New Hampshire is a fairly well-run state. They don't have a lot of people, so their homeless situation should be a little easier to tackle. They don't have any giant cities like Delaware with Wilmington or Baltimore. For every 10,000 New Hampshire residents, 12.3 are homeless. Number 19, Nebraska. Interesting story about a Nebraskan current resident that was homeless once. That's how he got to Nebraska. He was actually driving across the country and his car broke down. Well, it was overheating and he pulled off, found like a little creek that was there with a tree and just kind of parked his car and um, didn't know what he was going to do next. After he was there overnight in the morning, he wakes up and there's this older man who's apparently owned the land. He was a farmer and uh, asked him what was going on. He told him and he said, well, uh, next day or so when my guy's not busy, I'll send him over to see if he can fix your car. So he had a mechanic that worked on the farm and he sent him over there. The guy fixed his car. The old man told him, you can stay here if you want. You know, get, I guess he had corn or something he was growing there. He's all, if you need any corn, just go ahead and grab it out of the field. And he goes, and uh, when you're on your way, just make sure you clean up this area. So he thought that was really cool. Uh, he stayed there for a couple more days, talked to the old man again. He worked on that farm for like three years. Finally made his way out to California and was a stand-up comedian. That's how I met him. For every 10,000 Nebraska residents, 12.4 are homeless. Number 18, Florida. Florida, I thought would have had more, but here they are at number 18. I thought for sure they'd be in the top five or maybe at least the top 10, but no. For every 10,000 Florida residents, only 12.8 are homeless. Number 17, Idaho. I thought Idaho would do a lot better than 17, kind of the opposite of Florida. I thought they'd be way lower on the list, but no, here they are at 17. For every 10,000 residents in Idaho, 13 of them are homeless. Number 10, Minnesota. This is another one I'm kind of shocked that they're this high on the list. If I was homeless, I wouldn't stick around a place like Minnesota, a lot like Fargo and North Dakota and all that. It gets a little cold and you should start heading south. For every 10,000 Minnesota residents, 14.1 are homeless. Number 15, Montana. Again, shocked that they're here on the list. Thought for sure they'd be really, really early in the list. Not that many, but they don't have a lot of people, so it's probably easier to pull off a per capita like this. For every 10,000 Montana residents, 14.5 are homeless. Number 14, Arizona. Got an email from one of the uh, subscribers that is a paramedic in Phoenix and he said there's probably a lot more in Arizona than they're reporting and he mentions how every single day of the summer they're he called it scraping one off the sidewalk that passes out from heat exhaustion or heat exposure something like that for every 10,000 Arizona residents 15.1 are homeless number 13 Maine again a little shocked at this one thought they'd be earlier Maine's a pretty mellow state. They don't have a lot of crime. They don't have a lot of problems. It's an older population. But for every 10,000 residents of Maine, 15.6 are homeless. 
Number 12, New Mexico. If you look at their other stats of poverty and people on public assistance and stuff like that, you'd think that New Mexico would be in the top five at least. I mean, th all the stats they have point that direction. But here they are. At number 12, for every 10,000 New Mexico residents, 15.9 are homeless. Number 11, Colorado. This one doesn't surprise me at all. Colorado, I wouldn't say is known for this, but they kind of are. Sort of like Oregon is and Seattle. For every 10,000 Colorado residents, 17.1 are homeless. Number 10, Vermont. Cracking the top 10, we have the Green Mountain State. What's strange about this one is no matter what stat I'm doing, Vermont and New Hampshire always have very, very similar stats. This one, they're a little bit far apart, a little bit more than normal, I should say. For every 10,000 Vermont residents, 17.8 are homeless. What are, Ver are they called Vermonters? I don't know, I got, if you know, let me know in the comment section below. Number nine, Nevada. The Silver State is just like the Green Mountain State when it comes to this stat. For every 10,000 residents, 17.8 are homeless in Nevada. I'm kind of shocked at this one, especially if you've ever visited Las Vegas. I mean, it's a big state and Las Vegas isn't the entire state, but kind of is. You'd think that they have a lot more, but they don't. Number eight. Massachusetts. Now we're picking up some steam. Massachusetts has some pretty good sized cities that, you know, have some problems. Boston, beautiful historic city, but it has some areas that are just not good. And it kind of shows with the amount of homeless people they have. For every 10,000 Massachusetts residents, 26.1 are homeless. Number seven. Alaska. The frontier state doesn't have a lot of people, but they do have a good amount that are homeless. And again, a lot of that has to do with the Native American population. It's not all. That's just a good part of it. It's too bad. Like I said, eventually we might do a video on that whole thing, but I wouldn't be able to do it justice in a video like this. For every 10,000 Alaska residents, 26.6 are homeless. Number six, Washington State. Now, most, I'd say like 75% of the homeless for Washington State are going to be in the Seattle Tacoma area. They've got a lot. I was just up there recently to Seattle. I didn't see a lot on the street. And I mentioned that in the last video. And everyone said you got to look underneath the overpasses. They don't go into the street as much as they do in Portland. They're all underneath the freeways and in the woods around the uh, city. For every 10,000 Washington residents, 30.1 are homeless. Number five, Oregon. Yeah, we're kind of known for our homeless here in Oregon, really Portland, but that's where majority are, I should say. But every city we have has a good amount of homeless. A lot of it has to do with our policies and things like that and all the different programs we have. If you know you're going to get some help someplace and you have the ability and you're homeless, you're probably going to move to that state. And I think that's one of Portland and Oregon's biggest problems. Not that it's a problem. We're helping people, but it draws in a lot of homeless, which creates other problems. For every 10,000 Oregon residents, 34.7 are homeless. Number four, California. All right, close your mouth. I know you're all shocked. They should be number one. That's what everyone thinks. But when it comes to the per capita, they have so many people, they're not that bad. Well, they're bad. They're just not as bad as, as you think they should be. For every 10,000 California residents, 40.9 are homeless. That's a big number, but really, you'd think they'd be number one on this list. They're not. Number three, Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii's got some homeless issues. There's a lot that goes into this one, and uh, it's too bad. There's always those urban legends or rumors that we give them tickets to Hawaii from the mainland, <laughs> one-way tickets, and then our homeless get, you know, like we're putting homeless people, scooping them up in San Francisco, putting them on planes to Hawaii. It's like, come on, it's not happening. But they think it is there. They do have a lot of homeless people. For every 10,000 Hawaiian residents, 45.6 are homeless. Number two, New York. New York, again, you probably would have thought it would be number one, but here it is at number two. And obviously, most of their homeless are going to be in New York City, like I said in the last video, and probably some in Buffalo, maybe Rochester a little bit too, but a majority are going to be in New York City. And that's why people are flooding out there, not because of the homeless, because of the situation. It's too expensive, and that's sending people out of the city and out of the state and onto the streets in a lot of cases. Now, I say, I always give those reasons because we all know that over half the people on the streets are suffering from addiction problems, mental issues, things like that. When I talk about how they're moving or they can move, I'm not talking about those people. There are a different set of issues that you can't fix in a lot of ways. I mean, you could try and you can try and get them help, but they're just always going to be that way, I think. It's too bad. It's really sad. For every 10,000 New York residents, 46.9 are homeless. Before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There is a link down below. We would love it if you go over there, watch a video, maybe subscribe. This is your first time to this one, please subscribe. All right, on to number one. And number one. 
the District of Columbia. Yes, our nation's capital is filled to the rim with homeless residents. And that one, in a lot of ways, I mean, it's always bad when you have homeless and it's just too bad. And there should be a solution. There just isn't. We'll always be that way. It's just how many can you get off the street? But this is our nation's capital. This is a place we should put more effort into. You know, I mean, we get people coming from all over the world. This is one of the first places they go. It, it doesn't look good for the country. And I would think this would be one of the first places they would uh, clean up. But here they are at number one. Now, tighten your seatbelt. I'm going to give you the number here. And it's scary. For every 10,000 residents, 90.4 are homeless. They almost doubled New York. And they did double California. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this cleared up some things for you. Sorry that I didn't put it on the last video and I had to make two this way. It's kind of uh, weird, but uh, that's life. We all have our human moments. All right. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.